This is Minecraft prison, and I have exactly seven days to escape before I'm locked in forever. Ooh, look at my hands. Whoa. This is so cool. The first couple minutes I just stood around at the main menu playing around with my hands. Little did I know there was a search warrant out for my arrest at that moment. The crime? One account of video game abuse. And just like that, I was in prison. There's no like cell bars. I mean, can't I just walk out? Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, so I guess you can't just walk out. Can I like poke my head out? Maybe just like jump? Oh, no. Okay. Whatever, we'll start. A cell check- Here, wait, I'll use my arms to, to point. A cell check will be made every morning at sunrise. After cell check, you will be taken to the day room to explore. At evening lockdown, you will be brought here automatically. Okay. Whoa, what the- What just happened? I was immediately placed in the cell block all by myself. I started forging my plan of escape at this very moment. Just kidding, I had no clue what I was doing. Kitty cat. Although I found this cute cat. Cat, let me out. Here, come on, come on, kitty. Bring me the key. Plan A obviously didn't work. I knew I had to start thinking harder on how to escape. I ended up spending most of the day just wandering around like an idiot and exploring the cell block to help me find clues. Warden. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to attack the warden. I'm sure I'll be put into like solitary confinement or something like that. And then after about a whole day of doing nothing but tiring myself out running, I found this sign. Someone messed up the tables. Set them in the correct order. Maybe a sign left for me by a friend trying to give me clues on how to escape. So what's the correct order? I began working all 10 of my brain cells to finish my first task. Oh, oh, colors. Look, we, we see the colors here. So I guess we have to rearrange the table to be the same colors as up here. Blue goes first and then red on this side. Orange, sweet. Congratulations, green key acquired. Look at that. The almighty warden has gifted me a little present, a pass that enables me to do more work. Apparently I needed permission to work. Not like I actually wanted to work because I'm lazy anyway. I have permission to work now. Thank goodness. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Hey warden, check out what I got. Look at this. Look, I, I got a work pass. Look at this. Oh, busted. Did I accidentally hit him? The warden immediately regretted his decision and revoked my work pass. I spent the rest of the day here in solitary confinement. On the first night when I returned to my cell, I started searching around finding clues about how to plan the rest of my escape. What's this? Oh? And alas, with this note by my quote unquote granny, my plan is starting to come together. All you need to do is reach the prison kitchen dock sometime within the next six days of reading this note. A prison truck will be waiting to drive you to freedom. Of course, you have to dodge the guards. If you touch the guard, you will go to solitary. Well, I was already there. Um, let me tell you, it was pretty bad. Enjoy the cake. Love, Grandma. Aw, thanks, Grandma. Here's some cake. I got some cake. That, uh, was that here before? I don't remember that being here before. I couldn't eat the cake, probably because I didn't build up enough hunger yet, which is very unrealistic because I can eat cake anywhere at any time in real life. All right, time to go to sleep. Ah. By this time, I didn't have anything else to do besides go to sleep and wait for the next day. Good night, everybody. Good night. I woke up on the second day and the security guard began their early morning cell checks. I spent some time in the morning getting to know some of the other prisoners and trying to make some friends. Psst, guess what? I have a way of escaping. I know how to escape this prison cell. Are you in? Unfortunately, I'm a very bad people person. What's the problem here? Are you gonna say anything? D4, can I talk? Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, I'm sorry. Uh, you got any tools behind you? Maybe like a pickaxe or something? No? Uh, that's fine. I didn't succeed at making any friends, especially out in the yard. All right, now we're in the prison yard. Okay. Hey, how you doing, friend? What's up, everybody? Why is everyone looking at me? Oh, we got a little basketball court. I can smoke all of you in basketball. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke you, I can smoke you. And then I met Leroy. Leroy! Oh, hey! I think my moves on the court impressed Leroy. Oh! You see that? Beat you good, didn't I? Yeah, even your friend saw me beat you. Or maybe he just felt sorry for me because I was just embarrassing myself. Who knows? But he ended up giving me some tips for my escape. You need to get a job in the laundry. I hear these guards have their key cards on their dirty uniforms all the time. Help clean up the yard to show the guards you're a hard worker. That way they might give you a job inside. Okay, cool. Time to clean up the yard. Then one of the guards touched me and placed me in solitary confinement for the rest of the day. Oh, again. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to be in here. On the third day, I returned to the yard to complete my cleanup duties. The prisoners were amazed at my hard work and dedication. <laughs> and just like that, I was reassigned to laundry duty. Hey, congratulations, you are assigned to work laundry duty. And there it is, the other work pass. Sweet. Now what do I do in here? My boy Leroy said I can probably snatch a key off of one of the guard uniforms here, so that's exactly where I need to be. Oh, a bucket? Okay. Okay, so we fill up the bucket. There. 
Now the bucket is full of water. I don't know, maybe dump it in here. Oh, what are these, what are these like crates here? Maybe we can move these crates on those pressure plates. I continue to do my laundry duty by moving around these large baskets on pressure plates until I found a guard uniform with a key in it. Nice, we got the guard's blue key card. So I guess we can go into the guard's room? The guard station. Uh, there's a lot of guards in here. Hey, Sid. Oh, you're a little cutie, aren't you? Let, let me pet you. Sid, of course, got me in trouble. Oh, no, I... Stupid guard! The cat betrayed me! Luckily, it was the end of the day, so I was quickly sent back to my room. I was just petting the cat, and then the guard just decided to slap me into solitary confinement. Thanks, Sid. Thank you. There's gotta be, like, a key in this cake, I'm telling you. There it is, yep. Unlock to leave your cell. Perfect. After opening my cell door, I snuck my way to the guard station. Dude, he's so fast. All right, we'll just hide right here. Good thing he's got terrible eyesight, and he can't see me standing right in front of him. So we'll just go down here. Gotta watch out for that security guard. Oh, boy, he actually can see me. We'll just go in here. Maybe he can't... Yeah, he's... He's stupid. He can't follow me in here. Yeah, these security guards are literally blind. All right, so now we're in this room without the security guard, so now we can finally start figuring out what to do here. I started searching around the guard station for any clues, and then I stumbled upon a crate behind a painting. Nice. Okay, so we got the purple key and operator's manual. Now I got the purple work card to get me into the next area, and I assume it's down there. All right, there's this wall with numbers. Okay, so find operator's manual and follow instructions. I do have the operator's manual. Let's check it. First, select A to F to indicate the floor, and then select 1 to 7 to indicate the particular cell to open. Oh, so we can open cells now. I only see 1 to 7. I don't see A to F. I guess we'll come back to that later. We'll use the purple work card that I just found to open up the next area to the mess hall. All right, that's the next area. And they're getting chicken, steak, fish, and soup. And they can choose between one of the four. Prison's getting some nice food. Man, this is like a luxury prison here. Mess hall open sunrise. It is not sunrise yet. So we got to sleep and wait to the next day. I had to wait for the next day. So I went to go pet Sid one last time and then ran off to my cell. Ooh, you're cute kitty cat. Ooh. The guards did their early morning cell checks as usual. Hey, I'm here, don't worry. It's not like I escaped or anything, you know. <laughs> Who does that, right? And then I was immediately off to the mess hall. The chef wanted me to feed the inmates for her. Obviously, she wanted me to do her job for her. That lazy good for nothing. But what food do they want? How do we know? But they left their menu orders in their cell. Help me serve them the correct meal. So we gotta go to each of their cells then. Which one? D1 and C7. So we'll go to D1 and C7. So I went to each of the prisoners' jail cells to see what they wanted to eat and fed them. And then I slapped all the prisoners who didn't choose to eat the free steak. Because you know, who doesn't want free steak? And then I served them their meals. There we go, we did it. Congratulations, gold key acquired. After finishing serving meals for the inmates, I got access to the library where I saw none other than my good old pal Leroy again. And is this Leroy? Is this my man? Yes, this is my man Leroy. How you doing, Leroy? High five, man. Nope, gonna leave me hanging? Whatever. How you doing, Leroy? What are you saying? Since you helped in the mess hall, the chef is gonna help you out. Sneak into your cell after evening lockdown and you can get the key to the kitchen door. So this side has A to F, and then I think the opposite side in the guards room is one to seven. So we need to figure out which cell the chef belongs to, right, Leroy? Right. All right, let's go do that. Um, and she belongs to E3. So she wants to see us at night, so we need to skip to nighttime and then open her cell. Press button to skip to evening. All right, let's do it. The chef requested I see her at night in her cell. So I skipped to nighttime and snuck out of my cell again. Leroy, what are you doing out of your cell, man? Man, Leroy, I just don't get you sometimes. I had to find a way of opening her cell using the coded buttons on the walls of the library and the guard station. It was honestly very easy. Uh, now we just have to go up to her cell. We need to sneak our way to the cell. I outmaneuvered the blind security guards yet again. Sneak our way into E3 here. There you are. What's up, chef? How you doing? Oh, nice. You got a chest in here. Maybe I should go through your chest. Ah, the red key. Perfect. So now we have access to the kitchen. So we need to make it daytime again and then go back to the kitchen. I grabbed the key, went back to my cell, and went to sleep. I woke up as the guards were making their cell checks. I was running out of time to escape, but I knew I was close. And now we're in the kitchen. Thanks, Chef, for the key. You couldn't just hand it to me here. I had to go to your cell at night. I don't know why I needed to do that. Oh, here we go. Use the combination from the guard station. I had no clue what that meant. But I went back to the guard station to find these combinations. So I see these blocks have arrows on them. So upper, down, up, up. Lower is up, down, up. Then I went back to the kitchen to input the code. Oh, 
A secret door opened up. And here's the truck we escape on. I smell freedom! I went back to my friend Leroy to convince him to escape with me, but he didn't want to. He said the outside world wasn't for him. I don't know if I want to go back without him. Sure, leaving prison was what I wanted, but without my best friend by my side, I just don't know if I can do it. The heck with it. I don't like prison. I wanted to get out so bad. Let's get out of this prison. We did it! Honey, I'm home. Uh, I escaped from prison. I'm home a little early. Life was looking up, but once I just started to settle down in my home, this happened. It's the police. We're coming in. Uh-oh. Oh no, they found me! Ah, uh, back to prison I go, I guess. No. <laughs> well, I guess that was a fun one day of freedom.